From UFOs to ghosts and psychic powers, history is riddled with unexplained events. You can turn back now and learn the stuff they don't want you to know. The world as we know it runs on fossil fuels and sunlight. Without energy from the sun, the ecosystem would collapse. Without fossil fuels, most civilizations would also collapse. Say what you will about renewable energy, but oil is the blood pumping through the heart of industry. For decades, the quest for fuel has driven crime, business, and government. Fossil fuels are a tool for progress and a means of oppression. But the question on everyone's mind is this. What happens when we run out? Here are the facts. We will eventually run out of oil. The world's oil consumption is currently 83.7 million barrels per day. While demand is growing, supply is limited. As of June 2008, experts at British Petroleum believe the world contains approximately 1,238 billion barrels of oil. When the rate of fuel consumption exceeds the rate at which new supplies are discovered, we enter into the terrifying period of peak oil, meaning that the world's oil supplies have peaked and will eventually dwindle to nothing. Some experts believe peak oil has already occurred. We know that production in the U.S. peaked around 1971 and has declined since that point. But we can't figure out how much oil is left, and it's difficult to predict when the global peak will, or did, begin. The mainstream debate centers on concerns like mitigation and macroeconomics. For example, how long would it take a country to substitute solar power for oil? How will the dwindling supply affect global exports? Yet there is an undercurrent to this debate rarely seen in the mainstream media. It is an argument just as furious as the one in the mainstream, and it's full of disagreement. But these people agree on one chilling conclusion. When it comes to peak oil, there's something they don't want you to know. Here's where it gets crazy. Peak oil conspiracy theorists come in many varieties. Some right-wing theorists believe peak oil is a manufactured crisis. In this theory, the world's businesses and governments have created an artificial scarcity and suppressed breakthroughs in alternative technology. By forcing the current system to stay dependent on oil and eventually collapse, these shadowy leaders will presumably be able to create a new world government, like a UN on steroids. On the other hand, some conspiracy-minded people believe that peak oil occurred some time ago and that the current situation is more desperate than the mainstream lets on. To these theorists, the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan are desperate moves to control a slice of the dwindling oil supply. The increasingly tense situations in Kurdistan and Ossieta are evidence of global scrambling to control the distribution of fossil fuel. According to these theorists, the extinction of an oil-based society has already occurred. The world is increasingly living off oil reserves as the leaders of business and government try to keep their customers and citizens complacent and calm. Peak oil is not a conspiracy theory. The world will eventually run out of this resource. It's difficult to imagine exactly how the life of the average person will change. Long distance travel will probably become more difficult and international trade may well become a thing of the past. But the real questions are when peak oil will occur and how those in power will respond. And, perhaps most importantly, if there's something they don't want you to know. Moscow blames the U.S. and its Western allies for Russia's failing, falling rather, currency and the oil price plunges. The head of Russia's Foreign Intelligence Service, Mikhail Fradkov, says Washington and its allies are pursuing a regime change in his country. He says Moscow is well aware of the U.S. moves to oust Russian President Vladimir Putin. The Russian spy chief also accused the U.S. of deliberately imposing sanctions and targeting the ruble through manipulation of global oil prices.